Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this Sunday is my daughter's birthday. She's going to be 15 years old and I can't believe it. It goes by so, so fast. Um, but that made me want to sit down and do a teen mom tag. Uh, she's only 15 and I'm 32, so if you can do the math, you'll realize that I was 17 whenever I had her. So while I'm not a teen mom currently, I am a former teen mom. And yeah, my sisters, I think, one of my sisters just said I did this tag, or was it my cousin? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, TV. Anyway, um, they suggested I sit down to this tag, so I am going to. Uh, question number one, how old were you when you got pregnant? I got pregnant when I was 16 and I was 17 when she was born. What were your career plans before you got pregnant? Um, I don't really think I had a set career plan. I knew I wanted to go to NYU and I knew that I wanted, I knew that I wanted to study oceanography but I didn't really want to study at NYU, but I really wanted to go to NYU. I don't know. Um, I guess the only career plan I ever really had was to be an oceanographer, which is still like a semi-dream of mine, I guess you could say. Uh, what are your career plans now? Um, well, I said I was 16, so it's very, very different now. Um, right now, I am taking classes and seminars to become a birth doula. So I love all that stuff. Um, are you still with the father? No, I am not. Um, we got married when our daughter was eight months old and filed for divorce when she was 14 months old. So yeah. Uh, do you live with your parents? I do not. I have my own place. I live with my mom until I got married and then I moved back in whenever I filed for divorce. And I moved back out again before I turned 20, and I lived on my own since I was 20. What is the hardest part minus financial? The hardest part for me was a long time ago. Um, I think the hardest part for me was answering the don't you know how that happened question. Um, but she was a really chill baby. I didn't really have any problems. Uh, financial, I think, was like the main thing. And then, I guess, I never really went out as it was. That wasn't a big thing for me. Whenever I went back to work, finding childcare, I guess that was the hardest part. Do you work? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, I started working right after, no, right around the time my ex-husband and I broke up, I started working. I worked at Wendy's until Sarah was a baby, and Sarah was born whenever I was 20. So I worked there for about two and a half, three years, something like that. And now I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, how many friends do you have now compared to before? I keep my circle of friends very, very, very close. Um, it's, I have my best friend from high school. And I have another friend, and they're the only non-family member friends that I have. Most of my family members, most of my friends are family members. My sisters, my cousins, stuff like that. Um, when I was in high school, I had a lot of friends. And I don't think necessarily that having my daughter made me lose friends. I just think as you get older, you lose friends. But immediately after she was born, I didn't really lose maybe a couple of friends. That was really it. It wasn't that many at all. Is your family closer now? Um, no. <laughs> we were always pretty close knit, and we still are. So, do you wish you would have waited, or you wish you had been more careful? I've said for a long time that if I could have had the exact same kid in my 20s, I would have waited. And that's only because there are things that I wanted to do that I wasn't really able to do. Um, I did want to go to a four-year college out of state. I didn't even go to college. <laughs> um, so yeah, that. but that really wasn't her. That was me. I didn't apply myself. So if I would have applied myself and would have gone to out of state college, I would have taken her with me. <laughs> but 
if I wish I'd been more careful, um, I grew up in a very strict Catholic home and birth control was not something talked about. So I didn't really have all the information available to me um, that I that I give to my children because my children know all about birth control, which is something that I did not. So I wish I'd been more careful. No, because then I wouldn't have her, and I love her very, very much. What is the number one misconception about teen motherhood? That they're all crappy moms. That is the number one misconception about teen motherhood because I don't think that age defines the kind of mother you're going to be, how good of a mother you're going to be. Yes, there are crappy teenage moms out there. Of course there are. But there are also moms in their 30s and 40s that are crappy moms. It does not matter how old you are. If you're going to be a bad mom, you're going to be a bad mom. That is the number one. Oh, and that uh, all teen moms end up on public assistance. No, they don't. Do you think shows like 16 and a Pregnant or Teen Mom glorify teen parenthood? Yes and no. Um, I think that it's great that those shows exist for people that maybe do think it's this great, wonderful thing because then they can see how it is difficult. Um, those shows are also heavily, heavily edited. So it shows struggles, yes, but there's obviously a lot more behind the scenes going on than people see. And honestly, I haven't even watched Teen Mom <sighs> before Amber went to jail, <laughs> put it that way. And the last episode of 16 and Pregnant I saw, I believe Brooklyn was a baby, so that was years and years ago. But Glorify, yes and no. I mean, Look, if you're going to get pregnant as a teenager, it's going to happen. Those shows aren't really going to change it, in my opinion. How has your body changed since having your baby? Um, a lot. I've had four more children since then, so my body has changed a lot. Uh, whenever I got pregnant with Autumn, I was about 115 pounds, and I'm not 115 pounds anymore. I look like I've given birth, put it that way. Like, it's clearly obvious that I'm a mother. Um, yes, I am overweight. I am not obese by any standards, but yeah, I'd like to lose the weight. I'd like to get back down to the 130s if possible. Uh, oh, do you plan on having more kids and when? Um, I do not plan on having any more kids. I already have five. But when she was born, I had a very hard pregnancy and I did not plan on having any more right away and for a while there after my husband and I my first husband and I broke up I decided I didn't want to have any more kids and then Sarah came along so that changed and there's three years difference between them three and a half years between Sarah and Brooklyn two between Brooklyn and Luna and two between Luna and Sam what is one thing you wish you had known before you got pregnant that pregnancy is not easy it's not as glamorous as it seems on TV that you're going to be sick. I was very, very sick throughout all my pregnancies. Um, I have this condition that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, it's what Kate Middleton had. Um, I had that with four of my children, and it is awful. And I ended up losing weight and the vomit. It was, it was a mess. So I wish I knew pregnancy was not always as glamorous as you think it is. So. That is it for this tag. And yay, I got up a video twice this week on the right days. I'm so proud of myself right now. Um, anyway, uh, if you're a teen mom and you're watching this, and I tag you. If you're a former teen mom watching this and I tag you, do this too. It's kind of fun. It's really short. It's only 10 questions. It takes apparently 10 minutes to do. So um, I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.